Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you everything that you should know about scanning objects in AutoCAD. Let's see. To scale an object in AutoCAD, we will use the command scale, which is this one located here. We will click on it and I'm going to select all these objects. The drawing on the left is just for comparison. I press enter, then I'm going to choose a base point here. And then I can type the scale factor that I want. For example, if I type 2, all the dimensions will have double size of the original. You can see it there. If instead I would type a number smaller than 1, the object will decrease the size. And uh, if I type 0 0.5, all the dimensions will be halved. Ok, now let's see an example where the scale factor can be a very useful thing to do. In this project, the units used here are the meters. For example, if I measure this bed here, You can see that its size is 1.5, meaning obviously 1.5 meters. If I would like to change all the units of this drawing for millimeters, in order to have this distance 1500, it's very easy with the scale factor. Let's see. If we do a zoom out, we activate the command scale. We select all the drawings here, press enter, then I choose a base point, it doesn't matter where, and for the scale factor we will type 1000, because 1 meter is 1000 millimeters. We press enter, and if we measure now the bed here, we can see that now it says 1500 so we can consider that my drawing now it's in millimeters and another thing we can do is uh, go to units press enter and then in the length section we can change the precision to zero because now i don't need any decimals can click in ok In this part, I'm going to show you how to scale the image on the right with the image on the left as a reference. So, I start selecting these objects and press enter. Then, I specify a base point that can be this one. And when appears specify scale factor, I can have a look on the command bar and I can see this reference. I can click there or type R to insert a reference. Now, specify reference. I will use this distance, 2300, press enter, and I want that this new length will be 1000. So I type 1000 and press enter. And as you see, all these objects were scaled to match the reference. Another way to scale with a reference is when I type R to activate that option, instead of specifying a length, I can choose two points and type the new distance between them. I will click for the first point, I choose this one here, and the second one would be in the other side. I click there and I want this new length to be 500. So, it is done. I'm going to type the i for measuring a distance to confirm it. I click in both points and I can see that they measure 500 between them. Now I will show you a good example to use scale with reference.
I'm going to insert an external image to the drawing. I click in this tab insert, then I go here to this icon that says attach, and I'm going to choose this image and click in open. I will not scale it because I will do it after with the reference. I click in OK again. Now I click to specify the base point and press enter. And the image um, is very small, so I have to zoom in a lot. Now, to scale this to its correct size, I just need to know the real distance between two points, which I already checked in Google Earth. So, I, I will activate the command scale. Now, I will select the image and press enter. Then, I have to choose a base point, which will be this one. Next. I type R because I want to scale with the reference. Now I'm going to click in the two points that I know its real distance. The first one it's in this corner here, so I click there, and the second one it's that one in this side. I will click for the second point and I'm going to insert a real length which is 1402. I press enter and my scale now should be correct. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. You can subscribe to Cut in Black to watch the full list of tutorials of AutoCAD. Also, if you need extra help, I can provide to you online private lesson. Just send me an email and I will give you all the details. Thank you and see you next time.